Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough in Motive's brand new photo book app for iPhone. If you don't know who Motive is, I reviewed them before and if you want to watch those videos, you can find the links in the description below. So when Apple went out of business, there were new companies coming up to try to substitute for the books that Apple used to make. And when I say out of business, I didn't mean they went bust, they just stopped doing photo books. And Motif was one of these companies who started or continued doing the Apple style photo books. And Motif didn't just come from nowhere, they weren't a new company, they were the suppliers for Apple for many, many years. So now they could continue doing the products with the exact same materials and the books look exactly the same. When Motif first rolled out, they had an app which was integrated into Photos and you could use it on your desktop. So when you went into the Photos app, instead of um, creating an Apple photo book, you would now click on the Motif um, Create Photo Book button and it would load up the same interface and you could uh, create a book and print it out in the same sizes as Apple with the same attributes, paper, cover and you know, so it would look identical. And the price was exactly the same as well. Recently, Motive introduced a new app for the smartphone for iPhones where you can use now the same features and create Apple books uh, from your phone. So in this video, I want to give you a walkthrough or kind of a tutorial uh, to show you how the app works and what you can do in it. It's not going to be extremely detailed, but I want to show you as much as I can in a short time and then you can explore the app. So I tried it, it's really good, it has many features and the best thing is that you can create a book in less than five minutes and also if you're on the go, like if you're on holiday and you want a photo book by the time you get home, you can do it on your phone, order it and then by the time you get home from your holiday, the photo book is going to be at your doorstep. Or if you don't have time to edit photo books at home but you have a lot of time commuting to work and back, then you can easily do the photo book on your phone while you're commuting on a train or on the bus. It's very quick, it's very easy and obviously the app is free. Before I start the walkthrough, let me remind you that there is a voucher code you can use, PHOTOGURU25, until the 31st of December to get 25% off your order. So let me go into my phone now and show you how the app works. So we're here in the Motif app and you can see the available products. You've got hardcover photo books, softcover photo books and wall tiles and calendars coming soon. So I'm going to select a hardcover photo book and then here you've got the sizes. And the good thing about the sizes is that you can actually see it compared to your iPhone, how big the book is. So it's much easier to choose and you're going to know how big it's going to be roughly. So I'm going to go for 28 by 22 centimeters. And here you've got two options. You can either create the book from memories or you can create them from albums or photos that you select. If you create a book from your memories, you can create it automatically and the app is going to analyze your photos, make sure that there are no duplicates, select the best ones, look for similar scenes and put those photos together. So it's very intuitive. This time I'm going to create my photo book from albums and in albums I'm going to go into my favorites because I already added my favorite photos from Hong Kong. So here I'm going to select all the photos manually. If you do it from your memories then you can select just the memory and it's going to select all the photos automatically but you can also exclude some pictures that you don't want in the album. Then I'm going to click on next and here it shows me all the available themes for the book. So you can see a little preview of uh, a couple of pages and the front page, the color and the layout. So you've got quite a few, you've got some funky ones, destination abroad, pop color, spring vibes, full story, some simple ones, minimalistic, white. Um, which one should we go with? I think I really like the red one. So I'm gonna go for the full story. So you click on it and then there we go, automatically my whole book is created. So that's how easy it is, it's just one click. Now I'm going to show you all the things you can do. So here in the layout, you can see every single page and you can edit each page, you can edit the layout, you can edit the photos, you can do anything you want. So if I want to do something to page three, then I'm going to click on page three and then I can in the bottom click on layout and it's going to give me all the possible layouts for page three. So you can see how many layouts there are just for that one page. And this page is going to be done with four photos. So you can see the layouts with just photos and in the bottom you've got some layouts which include some text as well. So if I click on the top one, I really like this one in the top. I can see that the top photo is a little bit cut off at the top. So what I can do is click on the photo 
and move it in my frame so it sits nicely and I can also apply effect to this photo. So if I go to my effects, here are the available effects. Chrome, Fade, Instant, Mono, Noir, Process and Tonal. I'm going to click on Chrome for this one and click on Done. So you can see that it's almost Instagram style effects that you can apply to each and every photo individually with just one click. You don't have the usual sliders of, you know, contrast and brightness and all these things. I think the reason for that is they wanted to keep it very simple and very quick. But also remember that this app is integrated in your iPhone and is connected to photos where you can do far more editing prior to creating the book. Now, if I come back to my page three, and I select a different layout, like for example, um, this one here, then all of a sudden I've got an option for text. If I click on the text, I can edit my text and I can choose a different style. I can choose the font. There are loads and loads of fonts to choose from. Let's go for something nicer, that one there. You can also change the size. You can change the color and you can change the orientation to right, middle or left. So you've got quite a lot of control over the text and I'm gonna go back now and I'm also going to show what else you can do. So if you want to add more photos to the page or if you want to take away photos, you click on layout again. Here in the bottom, you've got the number of images. So I can select less images or more images and I can also select just text or blank. And these are my options if there's only text on the page or if I go to six images, it's going to show me all the available options for six photos. And obviously if I click on the six photo option, I will need to select a couple of new photos for the slot. So I've got two extra photo slots here in the bottom. And if I click on the slot, I can insert a photo by selecting from uh, my images in the bottom. So for example, I could put this one here and again, just adjust the position, click done, and one more. So these are the things you can do. So you can select the number of photos, you can add and take away photos, you can add text, you can select from loads of layouts, you can add effects to the photos, and you can also move them about. Now, if I want to change the order of my pages, then I can go into the arrange view, and if you long press on one of the pages, you can start moving it and you can easily rearrange. You can only rearrange double spreads, so you can't select uh, individual pages like the right side of spread four. You can only select the whole spread and move it as, as a whole double page spread. If you click on the options in the bottom, you can add new spreads or you can duplicate a spread if you like the layout. And if I come to my styles, I can change uh, the style of a certain page or of the entire book. So if I click on page four, I can change the background to black or any different color. So, so many colors to choose from. You can see in the bottom here and you can also choose from patterns. And then if you like that color, you can click on apply to all left pages or right pages and the entire project. So you've got quite a few options if you don't want to, you know, repeat yourself for every single page. If you want to add more photos to the selection, you go to your images and you can add images, placed images and see the unplaced images. So it's a very good way to see which photos have already been used and which ones need to be used. If you've got lots of photos, especially. Now, let me show you what you can do with the cover. So if I come to my cover, you can see it here at the front and you can see the back cover in the bottom. You can also see the little dust flap because all Apple books came with a dust jacket. So the motif books come with the dust jacket as well, which you can edit. So if I go to my dust flap and I edit the layout, you can see all the possible layouts. I'm gonna go with this because I like to add some text. And I'm also going to change this photo to something nicer, maybe that one there. And then you can obviously edit the text. If I go to my front cover, then again, I've got loads of different options for the front cover. I wanna keep the red theme, but I would like a collage of photos. So I'm gonna go for this one here and I'm going to change the text to Hong Kong. And now it's asking me if I want to change the same text on the spine as well, which is very good because that's what we wanna do. So I'm going to click on update 
And now I've got the text ready. Now, if you click on the little spine here, you can edit the spine text individually. If I come down to the bottom, I can do the same with the back cover. Lots of layouts to choose from. Here, I'm gonna go with a single photo like that. And you can also edit the dust flap as well. Just to show you a few more layouts, if I select um, a page with a single photo, like page 13, then these are the single layouts with one photo. So very, very similar to what Apple used to look like. You can have again, text and photo and full page photo. So lots of lots of options. And as you could see, each page can go up to a maximum of nine images. And if you come to the options setting in the bottom, here again, you've got ad spread, you've got preview book, change the book format if you want to change the size change the theme and you also have a guided tour if you get lost somewhere in the process. And when you're happy with your book, you go to checkout and then here you just need to log in and order your photo book.